Hello guys, uh, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Uh, we have this uh, beautiful simultaneous, pair of simultaneous equations uh, for, to consider. Actually, the way the question is, uh, we have y squared minus x squared equal to 1. Uh, that's equation 1. And then we have y squared plus xy equal to 2. Uh, this method, there are two approaches in solving this question. Uh, today I'm going to look at the one of the methods and then in a, a subsequent video I'm going to be making, I will, I will, I will look at the, uh, the other method, okay? So guys, without waste much, wasting much time, let's go ahead. Alright, so we have um, solution. I bring down the question, y squared minus x squared equal to 1. And then y squared plus xy equal to Two. Now, what I'm going to do is um, the method I'm going to use for this uh, solution will be I'll say let y equal to ax. So let y equal to ax. So meaning anywhere there is y, we replace with ax. So from equation one, from equation one, y squared. Minus x squared now becomes ax squared minus x squared equal to 1. So this becomes a squared x squared minus x squared equal to 1. So this will give me, if I factor out x squared, so I'm going to have x squared bracket a squared minus 1 equal to 1. So, making x squared the subject, so I'm going to have x squared equal to 1 over a squared minus 1. Okay, so I'm going to call this equation 3. Also, if I take this and substitute in equation 2, so I'm going to get from equation 2. So, I will have ax squared, okay? plus x times ax equal to 2, right? And so from here I have ax a squared, a squared plus ax squared equal to 2. And the same way, factoring, fact, factoring out x squared, I'm going to have x squared bracket a squared plus a equal to 2. And then from there, x squared will give me 2 over a squared plus a. So I'm going to call this equation 4. Now, if we look at equation 3 and equation 4, you will see that they are equal. Okay? So we equate with both of them. So, from equations 3 and we can obtain another equation which will be 1 over a squared minus 1 equal to 2 over a squared plus a. So I'm going to cross multiply so that we have 2 open bracket a squared minus 1 equal to a squared plus a. So we have 2 a squared minus 2 equal to a squared plus a. So I bring uh, everything to the left hand side. So I have 2a squared minus a squared minus a minus 2 equal to 0. So I'm going to simplify this to give me a squared minus a minus 2 equal to 0. Right. So next thing now is to factor this out. Uh, so it's a linear factors. So I'm having, uh, before I do that, I'll have a squared minus 2a plus a minus 2 equal to 0. So I can factor out, I can factor everything out now to give me um, a bracket a minus 2 plus 1 bracket a minus 2 equal to 0. Right. And then I have a plus 1, a plus 1 times 
a minus two equal to zero. So a plus one equal to zero or a minus two equal to zero. And therefore a equal to minus one or a equal to two. Now for this uh, for this problem, if we look at, for example, if we take a equal to minus one, that will make the whole of this, the denominator will be zero. And we don't want a denominator of zero. The same thing, if you check it out on the right hand side, the denominator is zero. So for this, we can say that it should be noted that note that a cannot be equal to minus one. So that means that if a cannot be equal to minus one, so we are going to reject the value of a equal to minus one will be rejected and then we stick with um, a equal to two. So if a equal to two, how do we find the value of our variable? So don't forget that we have said that uh, from equation from equation three from equation three x squared equal to 1 over a squared minus 1. So if a equal to 2, so that means that x squared will be equal to 1 over 2 squared minus 1. All right? So if x squared equals to 1 over a squared minus 1 and a is 2, so it means that x squared will be equal to 1 over 1 over 2 squared minus 1. That x squared will be equal to 1 over 4 minus 1. x squared will give us 1 over 3. So x will be the square root plus or minus square root of 1 over 3. Yes. And from here we can say that x will be equal to plus or minus uh, root 3 over 3. Yes, root 3 over 3. So if we have x to be that, what will be the value of y? Of course, y will be equal to, um, we have said that y equal to ax. So we'll call that, but y equal to ax. And if x is this, so y will be equal to, uh, sorry, a is 2, y will be equal to 2x, and then we have x to be that, y will be equal to plus or minus 2 uh, times root 3 over 3. So y will be equal to plus or minus 2 root 3 over 3. So, guys, there you have it. I will see you in my next video. And then in that video, we are going to look at the first method of solving this uh, problem. Thank you. Watch, learn, subscribe, give me your comment, and of course, um, share my video.